Um, <laughs> our next presenta uh, presentation is a two for one special. We have Christian or Tristan Crockett and Colin Foley. Um, they are senior athletic training students who are victim of their victims of their own curiosity. A simple question. I wonder if turned into a nearly two-year journey exploring injury data in the National Football League. Tristan hails from Salem, Virginia, and Colin made his way to Emory from Chesapeake, Virginia. Both intend to work in secondary school setting upon graduation, a setting where athletic trainers can make a lasting impact. Please help me in welcoming Christian and Colin to the stage. CTV, your sports report. Let's check in to see some NFL players and their recent complaints regarding the new Thursday night games. Talk to the game. What did you call it? Absolute hoop fest? Hoop fest. Oh, hoop fest. It's, like, it's terrible. It's, you know, you, you play, you play, freaking got home, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, something like that, on Monday, and then you got to play again. I mean... Congratulations, NFL. You did it again. But they've been doing it all season, so I guess we're the last ones to get the middle finger. How do you change your recovery? What, how did you accelerate it? What did you do that you would have done? You don't change your accelerator. You don't, you don't accelerate it, honestly. Your body is going to recover how it recovers every other week. You can't, you can't speed it up any more than you normally would. Um, you just got to deal with it. You know, It's just one of those things, part of the job. When you recovered, where would your body be Thursday? Uh, as recovered as it'll be any other Thursday, uh, you know, probably 50, 60 percent, you know, but it is what it is. It's Paul. Dang, man, can you believe that's another player that said that? You think it happens? I don't know. We want to find out. Let's do it. Clinical question? Yeah. Let's do it. So uh, every semester in the athletic training program, we're required to make a clinical question. A clinical question is something that we find interesting, maybe we want to investigate, or hence the name clinical question, you have a question about. Um, you jump into the literature aiming to get better as a student, clinician, and hopefully just a better person. Um, and that's really, really happened. So first clinical question we looked at. As you can see, Richard Sherman, a lot of you know who he is. There was many other players that decided to say, hey, these Thursday night games, they're unfair, they're hurting us, and all that kind of stuff. Well, it was due to the recovery time, so we thought, why not look it up? So there's looking at the numbers, so when you're looking at these numbers, nothing really stands out, but there is something that kind of stood out, you know, for the four-day recovery, there's a six um, injury average. So it was something that we saw wasn't super significant in statistical term terminology, <laughs> but uh, so we decided to keep looking into it. So me being a football player, and I see a lot of my ex-football players here, uh, <laughs> I had a seven day recovery every week. We, every time it was seven day. We had a bye week too, so that was 14, so we looked at that as well. So I had a set schedule, and it was easy for my body to recover, I felt like. Uh, but Colin, on the other hand, yeah, so it wasn't that easy. Uh, we had two to three games a week, sometimes four. And in between those games, we had a little thing we called practice, um, hopefully to flush some lactic acid and get our legs back, hopefully to move some pieces around on the chessboard and see if we can get a win. Um, so we know that this, like the NFL players, happens here at Emory Henry College in the athletic department, and we know it probably has to happen a couple other places. So because we didn't have any number that really stood out to us besides that um, four-day recovery, we were trying to think to ourselves what else could be a big factor. So we're sitting this year in a biology class, and um, circadian rhythm comes up. Sorry, biology department. But we're going to say circadian rhythm, we're going to talk about sleep cycle. So for instance, if you use the Patriots as an example, um, and they travel all the way down to California, that is a change of three time zones. Um, and it's hard on the body, and sometimes it 
can lead to more injury, um, but sometimes it doesn't. So we wanted to see how that really was. And that's where we came up with our second question. So we had our first clinical question, our second clinical question, we repeated that same method, the same procedures, the same media reported data from the NFL, and we came up with another variable. And we came up with our nice second question. So we added the new variable, time zone change. So back again to the numbers. Nothing, there's a couple things that stand out to you. There's some things that were approaching significance, another statistical term. So when you're looking at the one time zone change, that's an increase, you, you can see that right there. And then you look at the broad, that's going out into England and all that. Well, in 2017, this was the first time they had more than four games go out there. So it's a lot of money revenue, it's a lot of time zone change, it's a completely different world out there. So it was something that we saw that maybe could lead to something we didn't know. So we were wondering, wondering what else could we do? Well, thankfully we had another year at school. It's our senior year. Um, the first two questions happened our junior year and the first semester, so we said, let's just do it again. Um, why not drink six more gallons of coffee to produce these numbers um, while we're here and have the resources to do it? So we hours. came up with a huge research question. Because the research question is really long, we paraphrased it with our purpose statement. So we replicated that same process, looked at the same things, just added a year. So, you look at these graphs, the blue is 2017, and the first one is the recovery days, the second one is the time zone change. So there's things you need to see here, and obviously there's some things that stand out to you, like the first one I'm gonna talk about is the bye weeks. There's a huge gap right here, from the 17th to the 18th season. There's a lot of things that could change that. There's media related, um, the, all these injuries came from the media, so you can't really trust them anyways, like the internet, so yeah. So there, there's a significance there. And then we look to the next one, which is the one time zone change. Well, you gotta, you gotta keep in mind, a lot of teams are traveling one time zone to go play their divisional rivals and stuff. So you have Tennessee who's on a border, and they have to travel, if they go to the East Coast, a time zone every time, even though it doesn't seem that far. And then the last one, abroad again, but <clears throat> it did drop quite a bit. There's something that you might not see from just looking up here, which is the decrease in the amount of injuries and the injury rate we had from the 17 to the 18 season. Well, what we think is the NFL, after these players complained about all the injuries that they said were happening and all the not recovery time and all that, they made tweaks to the schedule. So maybe they have a Thursday um, game coming up. You don't travel three time zones that Sunday coming leading up. You have a home game instead. So that way you get a full, 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 full recovery days. So some things that stood out to us. Um, so we're sitting there looking at the data, looking at the schedules again, just trying to find something that sticks out. Um, so the Browns in the 2017-18 season um, went 0 and 16. That is zero perfect. wins, and they lost every single game. They were the perfect <laughs> losers. losers. Um, and to the contrary, the Patriots, um, as normal, went all the way to the Super Bowl um, and sadly lost to a backup quarterback. You can tell who I like if you, yeah, <laughs> voice. Um, so the Patriots stood out to us and the Browns. So we're thinking to ourselves, well, why do they go to Wembley? Why do they try to go to play in Mexico? Money. We all know what that is. So the, uh, the NFL increases sales drastically. The Wembley Stadium holds 25% more than the national average within the NFL. And at one game, they can pay for 40% of the Arizona Cardinals payroll from the 2018-19 season. Money. A lot of money. So <laughs> why does this matter? As future healthcare professions, um, it's our job to provide the best possible care for our athletes. That's diving into the literature like we did, or in some cases, what we also did is create that literature. Um, and that also includes educating and advocating for our athletes. It's important to do that, to get the whole system, everyone involved within the, um, the sport, the athlete, whomever you're taking care of, so you're all on the same page. 
Um, we saw uh, something cool about two weeks ago. We were at the National Wrestling um, Tournament out in Kingsport, Tennessee. So, we were at this AAU tournament, and we ha we're having kids from all over the places. We had a team from Iowa. That's two time zones away. So, this is a picture of me probably thinking about the questions we made up, actually. <laughs> so, I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, these kids traveled two time zones to get here. They're wrestling four or five times a day. That's our question. Exactly. But just in, with these little youth kids that weigh like 40 pounds, five-year-olds, that can literally just like pick up and move. It's, <laughs> it's pretty funny. It was cute, too. But it was just like... To bring our question into real life outside of NFL athletes, because more than likely we'll never meet these kids, meet these people, which would be cool if I did, if I worked in the NFL, maybe make a lot of money one day. But, but uh, it was just really nice to see our questions really come to life to us. Um, so we wanted to really think about how it would apply to you guys. So um, whether you're playing a sport one day a week because you like it, whether you played middle school, high school, or you're a collegiate athlete here at Emory Hendon College, it's important to think about the factors that can lead to an increase of injury. Um, whether you're a parent one day, an uncle, and you're just watching little Jimmy kick a soccer ball, hopefully to score a goal, hopefully going the right way, it's important to think about those things. Um, and no matter what, we can, we've been talking about a lot of money. So using our data sets, you can look at some patterns and we can help you bring up that um, jackpot money from your fantasy league. Um, so <laughs> money. Um, at the money. end of the day, we'd like to thank the team and everyone that made it possible. It took a long time. It was two years, four Very semesters, long. a lot of coffee. Um, and just thank the Ampersand Center and Emory Hunter College to put the spot from, to show that um, all the things that we do behind the scenes of on the sidelines taking care of the guys. Thank you for all coming out here. I hope you have a great rest of the day.